What's up, everybody? We are here in Concon with the Steam Camp. I'm just trying to get the background. Are you want this in the background? Oh, yeah, the background. Um, oh, wait, I already started. Now I've lost my place. Uh, what's up, everyone? We are here in Concon with the Steam Camp. So, Steam is. Steam is. Steam, Steam is what? Steam is science, technology, arts, engineering, arts. Engineering, I've moved around, Kayla. You don't have to. <laughs> so we're we're here setting up. Let me show you where we are at right now. These are our lovely sleeping arrangements. Um, they look like they're actually fairly comfortable, to be honest. Like these these mats, we'll put down some sheets and uh, have the mosquito nets over them. And so we're inviting students from our village. So each of us have two students, one or two students coming from the village, at least one is a girl, um, and then some counterparts coming, and we're going to do like a, a kind of a standard summer camp sort of thing. So uh, it's like three days, four days. I'm actually not the person we well, well, we'll talk to Valentine later, and she'll tell us like everything. Valentine or Amity, um, they know all the stuff. But uh, it's gonna be a fun couple days. They come, they register tomorrow, and then the camp starts on Monday. That's the plan. All the, all the incredible teams are coming from Aiden. I guess I'm DJ. Steam Camp's gonna be awesome! <laughs> Steam Camp has officially started. I'm here with Andrew Bronson. AKA Lance Nacondi. Uh huh. He's coming from his site, and he brought a student and a counterpart? Two students. Two students. So, um,. We're here with the kiddos now. Mm -hmm. You can see them. There. They had to build a spaghetti tower, and uh, we got some interesting designs. They did a very good job because even when I was looking at it, I helped set up for the experiment, and I was trying to think of how to do this, and I did not come up with anything. We got we got some smart kids here. They don't really. So this is like a science camp, kind of like like we would think of in America, like a science camp. I mean, not just science. So there's like arts and stuff too, but um, they don't really get that here. So this is um, kind of a cool opportunity to bring Ghanaians in. We're not. It's not just volunteers. Ghanaians are planning it as well, and um, just trying to make it kind of a sustainable project that goes on. So this is actually day two of uh, Steam Camp. All the kids got here. Yesterday we did, what did we do, Brian? Yesterday we spent some time doing creative writing. Yesterday we spent some time doing recycling and biodegradability mm -hmm. activities. What did the last activity? Creative writing. We had a paper had a, making. We had a paper making activity. Yeah. I guess it was only those, it was like three, and yeah. then an introduction. Yeah. Yeah, so I think the kids, it was a long day. There was a lot going on, um, but I think the kids really enjoyed it. Today, we're gonna continue paper making. What else do we have? We have dry, fruit drying. We Today have- fruit drying. Today is the rest of the paper, and there's a filter activity at the very end. Ah, filter activity, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you give students back their work, and they take it, and they just kind of throw it away. But today, we're taking that paper, and we're making new paper. So we're taking used paper to make new paper, and it looks like they're having a lot of fun doing that. Yesterday we put the paper and we cut into little bits, and today we're mixing it with water and uh, making the new recycled paper, and it looks like they're finishing up. And uh, yeah, recycled paper. Morning. Wow. C'est joli. <laughs> nous, sommes, nous sommes à l'université Jules Signéré de Cancan pour une formation pour de la paix. Donc, cette formation, nous avons appris beaucoup de choses, comme l'expérience que nous avons fait ce matin-là, et la fabrication des papiers. Et l'expression, les élèves, on a expliqué, les élèves ont compris et tout le monde a compris. Et je crois bien que la formation se passe très bien dans les meilleures conditions. Donc même nous, les professeurs, nous, nous avons consulté. Et on remercie le bon Dieu que ce soit comme ça continue jusqu'à la fin de la formation. 
Donc ça, c'est un bon opportunité pour les, les élèves parce que oui. ah, c'est difficile, difficilement qu'ils ont tous la formation comme ça. Oui, c'est difficilement, pas. difficilement, mais c'est des formations qu'on doit chaque fois au moins profiter. Quand il s'agit d'une formation, on exprime le nom des élèves qui viennent juste pour assister. Et ça y va dans leur propre intérêt. Et parce qu'arriver au niveau du village, ça va, ils vont, et aussi ils vont apprendre leur famille, la communauté, à non seulement faire ce qu'ils ont vu avec les, les volontaires ici. Um, so we are here in Mamu. We have three camps, three steam camps here. We have one in Mamu, we have one in Lave, and we have one in Kankan. You have seen the one in Kankan when we are traveling around um, Mamu now after Lave. The reason for that is because we want to have good access for everyone. So uh, we have about 24-ish students in each camp, about six or seven counterparts in a, and a handful of volunteers, probably around 11. Uh, and <clears throat> we bring them here and we're doing similar stuff, but all the activities come from the volunteers and the counterparts. So uh, here we're, we're doing like similar activities, like we're doing catapults again, we're doing binary numbers again. We're also making, um, what are they called? Batteries out of potatoes. I'm pretty excited about that one. And then we're also doing, uh, what's the other cool one? We're making ghettos, like with a lot of stuff and talking about the entrepreneurship behind it. Um, so it's, it is tailored to each camp. We've made a battery of potatoes. Out of potatoes? We've made a battery out of potatoes. I think it's pretty good. Cool. It's really, it's harder than it looks. Can you, can you see it? Really quite delicate, yeah. You can see the light, it's living. It's living up, yeah. It's Why lit. Not? It's lit. It's lit. I mean, try the blue, because the blue, the blue looks better. Well, when you put your hands up, that's not Can you see it? Is it lit? <laughs> I mean, honestly, I don't know. Your, your hand is in the way. Yeah. Look, well, you know why it doesn't Let's go, go, go. go. Approaching five minutes, and I still don't see anything. <laughs> okay, it, it, it lit up. It lit up. It lit up. The yellow lit up. Yeah, but was it on camera? Yeah. It lit up, I promise. It's the nail. I told you the nail wouldn't. Damn nail. All I wanted to do is light up now. I think it's. I don't light. think this light even works. Yeah. I, I'm sure this light doesn't work. Okay. It's the light. Where are you going? <laughs> We're gonna make it work. We're going to make it work. Please explain this uh, fashion choice, Rosie. It's cold and rainy here. Where and I live in the Basque Coast, it's not like this. It's hot all the time. But here in Fuja, it's cold. It's cold and rainy. Why don't you have socks on? Why do you have socks on? Socks of the move. I don't know. This <laughs> one, yeah. <laughs> by by cold we mean what like it's probably 80? 75 or 80. <laughs> 80 degrees. Sometimes out. in the evenings at site, I'm like, oh wow, it's so cool tonight. I'm gonna check the temperature, and I check the temperature, and it's like 95 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice fresh day in Giddy. <laughs> We're warming ourselves. Um, it's very, it's very cold out right now, so we're currently warming ourselves around a uh, charcoal stove. <laughs> it is it's very lit. I'm wearing socks. Which, I know it is. We can't all be so lucky for Yeah. I always do socks with this exact reason. <laughs> You're just smarter than the rest of us, I guess. Oh, well, I don't have a jacket. You all have jackets, so like, I would not say that. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're working on sundials right now, and we're trying to find north. No, and find I think it's north. that way, and Isabel thinks it that way, and I think it's probably actually that way. I was teaching students how to make sundials. There's been no sun because it is the middle of rainy season, and I didn't think about that when I wrote my lesson plan in January. But we used flashlights, so they worked impeccably. We used flashlights as the sun, and the kids thought it was hysterical. And it's easier to control the position of the sun when the sun is a flashlight in your hand. <laughs> so it looked like the, the solar clocks worked perfectly. Hey, sounds like you did for a Thank you. I think so. <laughs> I've made a friend, as you can see. It's a little chameleon. They were all 
What is that? Ugh. Everyone's freaking out because they believe that chameleons are uh, poisonous here. So they believe I'm like committing suicide or something. I don't know. Um, but he's friends. So I'm Mori in here. He's Mori Du. My little friend. All right. So now we are we are in Mamu and we're about to head to the lobby today for the rest of the scene camp. Um, this whole three week long vlog thing is gonna probably make a bit of a disjointed vlog. But we'll do the best we can uh, to make it all kind of seamless. But uh, today we are going up to lobby, so I'm recording this scary caterpillar that is here. Um, anyway, lobby is about three hours from here, so really an easy easy ride. Um, shouldn't have any issues. We got a NIF boss coming, and uh, with this opportunity, I'm going to do a quick vlog, like an inter vlog on travel, which either by this point you will have already seen or it's coming next week. Um, but fun fact, filming it now. <laughs> so, but for you guys, I'll see you in Labe, where we're having the third and final steam camp. We are in Labe right now, um, doing our third camp, so third and final camp. This place is like a school, so we're they're at the school and then we're housing them at a hotel that's here. Um, and we've run into <laughs> some issues that uh, we'll probably get to explain later, but basically there was a, a uh, marriage at the hotel, a wedding, um, that was like double booked, so they weren't supposed to be there. We had, we had, had the whole hotel. Um, but things are beginning to go better. We had some issues with food today. We had some issues with getting into this place today, but like I think the kids are still enjoying it. Um, right now we're making maps, so that's what everyone's doing behind me. Um, and I'm up here on the roof taking photos. That's been my whole job. Have I said that? I forget if I said that. I'm taking photos and videos of the camp. And also doing a vlog, so you'll see all of that, I am sure, at some point. But, um, yeah, things are going pretty well. Last camp. It feels a bit like a traveling circus, to be honest. Alright, we are in day two and we have another competition. This is a fun camp. We're building bridges. So we're down here with our bridge. They're over there with their bridges. And for the volunteers, it's guys versus girls. It's gonna be a fun time. I think we are I think we're gonna win. This one we're gonna win. The tower one wasn't so great. We're gonna win this one. So we were building a bridge and the tresses on our bridge didn't work out, so we collapsed them and put it all in the center, squirted some glue over it. Tie that tape around, and there you go. We're gonna win the bridge building competition with this baby. Honestly, honestly, I'm a bit scared because like this is just a block of wood, and ours is probably like ours is definitely better designed, but it's gonna fall over. It's gonna fall over. So like, as long as their block of wood outlasts ours falling over, like. Thoughts? Thoughts? Girls are gonna win. That's it. Girls are gonna win. We're gonna win. Seb already said we won the ugliest bridge. Awesome. Ugly. <laughs> Who wants to introduce our, our bridge to the people? I think Anthony has uh, the Anthony. stage for this one. Yeah. Go ahead. So, <laughs> this is a bridge. Oh my god. Oh my god. Put him on All right, okay. so we put two trusses along the sides with a uh, super glue. And what we did was we. Oh, wait, had, I couldn't explain this. Oh my. We imitated <laughs> I beams <laughs> on the bottom. Those are T beams. Uh, the, we imitated T beams on the bottom. Um, and we have triangles, trusses, because that's. Uh, trusted. Um, it's trusted. <laughs> a trusted design. <laughs> and um, we're going to win. Oh, c'est fini? Oui, c'est joli. Wow. C'est all right, so it is the last day of Steam Camp, like of all three Steam Camps, and um, I feel like a truck in me or something. Like I'm, I'm so tired. We woke up like two hours ago. That's I'm already exhausted. So, um, but things have been going well. Uh, we've had some issues in the start of Labe, but this has been a good camp. A lot of like 
uh, kind of challenges, which are always fun, that the volunteers have participated in, which is, which is a lot of fun. Um, it seems like the other camps were more arts and craftsy, which the kids loved and it's good, but it's nice to have some more challenges too, because, like bridge building and kind of the, the things that, uh, like if you went to school in the States and um, did some after school programs, you probably did. So that's kind of fun. And it's something that they don't really get the opportunity to do here so much. Steam camp was good. It was uh, really tiring, but um, it was really interesting to see kind of the differences between the different camps and uh, what all goes on and how, how it's run before and be a part of that. These sort of things are good. And, um, you know, it's something we kind of take for granted in the West, like some, especially the US, like these after school programs, the kind of creative stuff. And um, we found like, Whenever the kids got the opportunity to color, they, they just colored. They just colored into the break, through the break. Like, they just wanted to be creative. And um, it's cool to give that opportunity to them and to um, have some Ghanaian counterparts here who can take similar activities back to the village. Yeah. I'll see you guys next time, whenever that is. I'll let Yori wrap up this one. Like and subscribe. Make sure to turn on the bell if you want to know when Colt posts.